in a good mood. I actually just got out of a long distance relationship. Yeah, that didn't work out for me. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's because we only had cell phones to communicate. So it was like the relationship didn't start until 9 p.m. You know what I mean? And then we never saw each other, which was really frustrating, so we tried to have phone sex. That doesn't work on a cell phone. Because right when you get to the good parts, that's when the reception cuts out. He's like, honey, I'm really feeling it now. I just want you to, in my, it'll be, e. And then I'm gonna enter, uh, so we can be, eh. I'm like, what, honey? Can you feel me now? Can you feel me now? Over here. Finally moved out to California to be with me, which was great. But he got lost everywhere he went. He'd call me in a panic. I'm like, just relax. Take a right when you get to Lake Street. He's like, but what will I do when I get there? Will there be a street sign? I'm like, no, when you get there, a midget's going to pop out with a riddle. <laughs> he was really starstruck, too. Like, everywhere we went in Los Angeles, he thought he saw a celebrity. We went out this one time. He's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. That's Eddie Murphy. I'm like, yeah, I don't think Eddie Murphy works at the IHOP. <laughs> That's Arsenio. <laughs> we had to break up, we were fighting all the time and he didn't want to break up with me and I was too chicken to say anything to his face. Finally, I dumped him over email. And we were still living together at the time. <laughs> I'm like, have you used the computer today? No. Uh, have you seen your inbox? Yeah. Check your email. Check your email. I'm going to be in the car with the uh, cat. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so we broke up. I was actually in Vegas recently doing some shows. You guys like Vegas? I have a great time there. One of my friends was like, so did you party? I was like, yeah, we had fun. He's like, no, but did you uh, party? I'm like, yeah, we had a good time. He's like, no, but did you party? I was like, yeah, we had fun. It's like, if you don't come back from Vegas engaged to a complete stranger and with a venereal disease, you didn't make the most out of Vegas. you guys to know that my family does not want me to be a stripper they do not understand under that kind of stuff that is all my idea they want me to marry a nice Jewish boy that's right who is this myth who is this mythical creature please raise your hand if you're right here nobody no nobody huh because they don't exist <laughs> A nice Jewish boy is a mythical person that has a nice job, drives a nice vehicle. Somebody who, whose grandmother, my grandmother, met at Plummer Park, which is where all the Russians hang out. <laughs> and that is pretty much it. And, you know, I personally did not want to go out with the Jews myself. I figured that dating like a Russian Jew here for me, it's like, it's like living in front of an international food, food court and always eating gefilte fish at your grandma's house. <laughs> oh, Brazilian food, no thank you, I don't want it. Tonight we have chopped liver, tomorrow we have chopped herring. We have all kinds of other chopped fishes, but we do not want your Brazilian restaurant. No thank you very much. But you know, there was a lot of pressure from my family. They pressured me about it. And uh, I went out with a lot of ugly guys. I went with a lot of guys that are kind of boring. And if I said, you know, grandma, he's ugly, my grandma would be like, what? He no good looking? He no look good. No look at him. <laughs> he is doctor. He give you all the medicine you need. <laughs> I say, grandma, he's boring. Oh my God, he boring? Oh my God, no listen to him. <laughs> is man circus? Man is not circus. He has car dealership. Think about it. 
<laughs> if I did not want to go out with the ugly Jews, my grandma brought out the big guns. Do you guys know what the big guns is? The big guns is I came to America for you. <laughs> ah, in Russia I was big doctor. People come to me from over the place. They bring me money. They bring me candy. They bring me goat. Do I take? No. I come to America for you. And now I sit here and you no marry nobody. Fall's my favorite season because that's when my best friend comes back from summer vacation. My best friend TV. <laughs> and I can't wait for the return of my favorite gay soap opera. Maybe you guys caught last season's finale. They called it the Super Bowl. <laughs> now, some people say that football isn't gay, but I ask you, when a man can be characterized as a ball magnet and he's praised for his ball handling skills and he gets in trouble for holding other men? Isn't that a little gay? I say it's totally gay. I say football, it's a hot, hot tale of forbidden love. You know? It's romantic at times when they strive to penetrate each other's defenses. It gets kinky when they deal out severe punishments. And then sometimes it's playful when they splash each other with Gatorade. And if you're still not convinced, I'll ask you this. Who but a gay man goes out in public wearing sparkly skin-tight knickers? I've only seen that a couple of places. The NFL and gay dance clubs. And I used to get paid to watch. Because I used to type closed captions for the hearing impaired. And for me, that was a great job. Why? I was paid to sit alone in the dark all night watching TV, which I was doing at the time for free. <laughs> Only problem with that job is I am a writer, so I like to edit things. So when the refs would say, holding, that's what I would have to type. And holding is a fine word, but you know and I know there's got to be a better one. Like cuddling. <laughs> or snuggling, fondling, or caressing, or why must you punish us for our love? <laughs> or when the refs do this thing, I was supposed to type false start, so I did. But wouldn't it have been more fun if I could have typed out of my way, bitches, I just gotta dance? <laughs> I think so. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that guys like football. I think it's so cute. Like, for example, my little brother, a Chicago Bears fan. Why? Because he's loved teddy bears ever since he was a little boy. That's real cute. My friend Tony, a Chicago Bears fan. Why? Because he loves the big hairy gay men who call themselves bears. And he always has, ever since he was a little boy. And that's real cute, too. I guess what I'm saying is in every gay relationship, somebody's got to be the quarterback and somebody's got to be the wide receiver. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Sass. Thanks for listening, you guys. <laughs>